everyone, Florida and Science is here and welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to teach you how to take a propane torch and a couple new pennies and get some awesome zinc ingots. Let's get started. As you can see, I've got a pile of coins here. The best way to get zinc is to find either these new pennies that have the uh, shield on the back or just any penny that was made after 1982. 1982 is when they stopped being made fully of copper and they started being made of zinc on the inside and just having a copper jacketing. So if you have a huge coin collection like me, just go through them. Any shiny ones, if they're made after 1982, take them. If they're not, then they're going to just be copper and they're not going to melt with a propane torch. Now, uh, this could take you a while if you don't if you have a lot of pennies, um, if you don't, just go through it, find the ones you want. The more pennies you have, obviously, the bigger ingots you're going to be able to get, so on and so forth. Alright, so now that you've got yourself a good amount of pennies, I've got around 30 of them here. You're going to need to take a propane torch and get to work. Alright guys, so before you can start melting, there's a few more things you're going to need. One is some form of crucible, something you can melt your metals in. I'm using this old steel bowl right here. It works just fine for me every time. Uh, it's really, you know, it's really uh, bad on the inside. It's kind of rotten. Just make sure it's made of steel or graphite, all right? Something that will not melt. Next, you're gonna need something to scrape the uh, copper slag off the top because as soon as you melt it, all that copper coating is gonna float up to the top and I'm just gonna use this old stick for that. And then finally, you're gonna need something to make your pour, something you can grab at your steel bowl with. I'm just gonna use these pliers right here. They work fine. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Now, one big mistake I see people making all the time is that they think they can only melt the pennies one at a time. You can do it every single one at once. I'm going to show you that right now. So take your propane torch and you're just going to want to hold it here for a while. So entering time lapse mode. You can see I'm starting to get one uh, one complete pile of metal. I'm starting to get all these all this copper slag on the side. Now as soon as these pennies are melted, I'm going to go ahead and scrape that away, and I'm going to be left with one uh, container or one little blob of pure liquid zinc. So you can see, just pull them away like this. A couple more pennies in there, like so. Alright. Now there's a couple pennies left in there obviously, but for now, I just want this to solidify without the copper in it. Now obviously we're going to have to purify it a couple more times, uh, which basically means we're just going to have to melt it, scrape the slag off the top, and I usually do this three or four times before I actually make an ingot. Um, so, oh, if I can find my uh, pliers. Alright guys, so all that right there, that is all copper, that's all the copper coating that was on those pennies. Alright, so as you can see, I've remelted it down, um, and now I just have to scrape a little bit of slag off the surface, so basically what you do in, in order to do this, it's really simple, you just have to melt the, th you just have to melt the entire ingot, and then just take your stick, and then you can see I'm scraping the slag right off. Just like that. Now I've already scraped off quite a bit of it. Ah, it's still some over there. And it's on. So now I'm gonna add in my secondary and get this is also uh, lead. It's another bit in there. And then I'm just gonna melt this entire thing down. I'm just gonna take like an hour. Uh, I'm exaggerating, of course, but here we go. Look at all that slag. Ugh, it's disgusting. Just scrape it off. Ow. So while it's still liquid, just gonna scrape off all that metal and boom. Nice beautiful lead ingot. So in order to get this to shape, I'm just gonna pour it into one section just like that, and obviously, you know, this isn't perfect because there's still a lot of it in there, and I'm gonna form that into place, but you guys get the idea. Ugh. All right, I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. All right, so guys, I hope that that gave you a little bit of an introduction to casting. Here was our finished 
product, as you can see, a whole bunch of zinc. And let's see just how much it weighs, shall we? So, I have a scale set up right over here. I'm just gonna move a tripod over because this is very, very easy. All right, so. This is precisely 61 grams of zinc. That is pretty cool. Ugh. Anyway, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Please comment down below what more you would like, uh, like to see me do, what else you'd like to see me do. Um, tune in next week because we're gonna be casting this ingot of zinc into something pretty cool. And I want you guys to leave in the comments what you want me to cast into because there's a couple things that I want to show you, but there's also a few things that I'm sure you guys would like to see. So leave a comment down below what you'd like to see me cast. Leave a comment down below what you'd like to see me do next. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.